Greetings, Scooby YouTubies. Uh, if the gnats and, and mosquitoes don't carry me off, the ticks will. That means it's springtime in Arkansas. And springtime means two days until summer. We don't get much spring anymore. It just cold one day and then hot the next. But anyway, there's something missing right there. That's still there, languishing, bless its heart. And the jeep, got to get it going so I can scare the family. But I've mumbly pegged and got the 51 Ford in the hole. It's in the hole and all of its beautiful list. And uh, let me do my patented uh, door stop. Huh. Anyway, here it is. And I put a part of a carburetor kit in it. Power valve and a, the uh, accelerator pump was messed up in it. Of course, it dried out 50 years ago. 75 and I got a lot of gooks and junk in the back of course just enough stuff left in here to make you want some stuff and none of it's much count this is the part of the grill yard and that's a little bit too knackered for me to put on the car but it, it may have to go because they're all the ones I found have been a hundred dollars or more and lots of other things I need and, but for the most part it'll be all right there's two petrol tanks which one is good we don't know there's a one of them would be's can you would be see it He's wary because I slap him with my hand and everybody goes nuts. But they won't bite you. They'll they actually won't sting you, but they'll bite you. And uh, got it in here and the windows. This window's gone like the days of winter. And I found that window in the hole and I got it going. And uh, let's see. Turn this light on and See the wonderfulness of the dash. Yeah, no ignition system. Well, here's the ignition thing, but it's all goobered up. And all the wiring is all goobered up, which is what you would expect for all this cloth covered wire. And uh, if it was any count, <clears throat> I'd have no problem using it to switch it over to 12 volts because 6 volt wire is actually a heavier wire and they'll hold 12 volts a lot better than the 12 volt wire because it, it uh, takes a bigger wire to run 6 volts to do things with it and I put battery cables on it and a solenoid -y. And one going to the stata. And of course done the carburetor. And blowed the fuel pump out. And it started working good. And I got everything cross wired and hay wired. And there's a, to run your six volt ignition you just cram a ballast resistor in the line. So this would be 12 volts coming in and then 6 volts going out to the points in the distributor. And you just run that over to a battery feed and you got juice to run. Hey, how you doing? But anyway, this won't be a cold, it'll be a cold start, but it won't be a first start. Look at all these knackered uh, battery cable uh, uh, 
distributor cables. I can't talk today, boys and girls. No, I think I can talk. I just can't think. But uh, I'll get some wires on it. It won't. I think it's missing a little bit because of the wires are jumping far. And I don't have the radiator or any of the hoses hooked up. And one of the water pumps has got two. The uh, port side water pump don't turn any. So it'll probably get two rebuilt ones or new ones. And these hoses are knackered. They went to Memphis on somebody. But I drained the oil out of her and then uh, it had about three quarts too much oil and I filled it back up with what it's supposed to have. And uh, let me just tell you what, what that most people do know. Uh, I hear that I went to the salvage yard and I found me an old hoopie and it the oil in it and the engine was as clean as day. So I know that's a good engine. No. Uh, oil will settle out and all the crap will be settled at the bottom and what you're checking is the settled out good slick oil at the top leaving the heavies at the bottom so it could have been blowed up years ago and all you're checking is the top of the oil the oil that looks good at the very top so don't be fooled by clean oil at the salvage yard uh, but anyway I've got it all half wired and stuff let me let you listen to this thing run now watch it not run running it without a any thing of cooling I use this to uh, tell when it's too hot of course it's, it's probably 90 something degrees here Oh, 74, 74, something. Nice little gadget. So, I put the battery cable on. Here's the ignition. Turn the ignition on. Down here I've got a, a jumper lead that hits the solenoid and bypasses that. And it started. Good and quiet. But you talk about smoke. I mean, it, it doesn't smoke now, but boy, you start gassing it up and all that stuff. Thanks. It's been poured through the engine to try to break it loose. Still hung up somewhere. Uh oh, running out of gas. I run it out of gas. I knew what I would. But I can kill mosquitoes from three sections away. I get ravered up. There's my gas my gas tank and you see it's empty. But Oh well, y'all heard it run. Anywho way. So it runs. I'll take the key off. There. Thank you. I'll do this. So there you go. I wonder how hot it got. Oh, I didn't get so hot. 100 degrees. Something like that. I can still torch it. I can still torch it. So, uh, this is the, the progress I'm making. So, I got to get me a winder for this. 
and the guy I bought it off of said it had two door windows already in here. Of course, it didn't show any door windows because that one was hid down in the door. But these here are cut for the windshield. Now, I do need one windshield side, but while I got two new ones, I'll just take this whole smear out and uh, cram them both in. But that's going to be a Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. That's going to be a little bit of a chore. I, I put split windows like this in before, and they're kind of a rassle. So once I get a new rubber, because this one's harder than hammered heck. I mean, it's, it's went to Memphis. But once I get a good windshield seal, I'll cram it all in there and put my stainless in it. Uh, I think this one you put stainless in it before you put the glass in. But I'll have to see what what it looks like on the back to determine that. But that'll put it in the dry. At least that and the stuff in the dry. And uh that's the plans there, boys and girls. This hood is ferocious. It's bent all to pieces. But it's a hood. And that's, that's that. Uh. Yeah, if it wasn't for this hairy Harry wires here. I would just go ahead and and uh, hook everything up back up to 12 volts, and everything would run and work. Except for the vacuum wipers. I don't like vacuum wipers. I'll probably put some electric ones in it, like I do the Crosleys. And uh, but it's all haired up and ruined. So I'll go point to point and rewire it. Can't be that much to it. Just lights and stuff. But I drove it down in here. Of course, it didn't have a sign of brakes. I'll show you what that means. There's no sign of brakes. That pedal against the floor, that's a brake. As long as you've got a clutch and a, and a stick shift, you know, you don't need brakes. When you want brakes, and you don't need them. A lot of things you want, but you don't need. But anyway, that's the that's the story of the old 51. There's the old bent up grill back there. It's knackered. And uh, nothing else has come to pass. Uh, there's a a beautiful bumper cutworm in Florida that dangerous Dan the Swamp Man give me. He made it up. I mean, he welded that rascal up and it looks great. And it's going right up there where I can see it. I'm gonna put a light on it. And uh, it'll be good. So I'm so proud of that. From Rusty Acres. So y'all check Rusty Acres out. And uh, he's doing some amazing things. And you need to check him out and, and say hi to him. This wheel, the neighbor gave me, he's had it for 20 years. He don't know where he got it. But here it is. I don't know what it is, but there it is. It's got a good, a good year. Super Eagle on it. Sixteen five double O by sixteen, and uh, you can see how small it is. 
and there's no keyway to speak of. And uh, point, whoop, it turned around and went to Memphis. It's got a little bitty brake drum on it. And I don't know. I don't know if that's a rebel flag there or just an X on the world. But that's what that is. You'd think it would say something on it, but they won't tell me nothing. But if anybody knows, uh, let me know. Give me an idea of how to look. Not very big. I mean, there's a size 11, so you can tell how small the thing is. And that's, that's the way the world twirls today, boys and girls. Uh, it's a beautiful, calm day, and that's about all I can say about it. Not nothing much exciting going on. So I will cut this short, which is the story of my life, and I tell you that I love y'all, and I'm praying for everybody, and. Uh, Y'all just be safe. Go inside. Put your feet up. This is the vacation that we've all really, all wanted, really wanted. And uh, it is, it's not as enjoyable if it's a forced vacation than if it's one that you plan by yourself. But a vacation is still a vacation. So y'all play tiddlywinks or Yahtzee or something while this is... This uh, virus runs its course, and I hope this hot weather will take care of it. But uh, I don't know. I know who will take care of it, and he's taking care of all of us, and he is unbeatable. So ah, just be relaxed and trust in the Lord, and we'll get there eventually. We're on his trail. And we walk behind him in the, on the trail, and he's leading us in the right direction. Okay, y'all be good. Bye-bye for now.